One person is dead and more than a dozen injured after a casino shuttle boat caught fire off the coast of Port Ritchie this weekend. The dramatic video shows the boat moments after it burst into flames. Thick smoke and fire filled the air. Dozens of passengers were forced to jump into chilly waters to escape. The captain's quick thinking is being credited for saving multiple lives. Now we have team coverage for you tonight. Corey Davis spoke with one of the survivors about the race just to get off the boat and make it out alive. But we're going to start with you, Jamel and A, live in Port Ritchie. Oh, good evening to you, Keith. I can tell you that the doors here at the Tropical Breeze Casino have been locked and closed all day, but the customers showing up to still go out to that casino boat say they still feel safe even after one person died following this fire. No dice for Michael Cuz. He was hoping to get on the Tropical Breeze Casino boat in Port Ritchie today. I would have went now, but they're not going out. The doors are locked after the shuttle that transports passengers to the boat caught fire Sunday evening. 50 people, including crew members and passengers, jumped off the boat and into the freezing water. Cuz said several of his friends were on the boat and crawled to shore. Well, you know, they were shocked and they had to jump in the water, but, but the captain, realized something was happening and he got close to shore and uh, you know it, it, it saved people from having to swim more than a dozen people went to the hospital a 42 year old woman died the u.s coast guard is investigating the cause of the fire police say they believe it started in the engine room the biggest thing you worry about on boats is fire so it was a little scary Gill dog owner Eric Soyanen took us to get a closer look at the aftermath. The only thing left in the char and rubble is the American flag on the bow. Whenever we send out boats, you have to worry about people, you know, people's safety and, and getting hurt. And, and um, you know, so it could happen to anybody. No one was at the office for a comment. A company rep said they are saddened by the loss of a passenger and for those who suffered because of this incident. And the U.S. Coast Guard is the lead in this investigation. We have been told that it could take days, maybe even weeks, before the official cause of this fire is revealed. Keith? Well, that video is remarkable. The fact that anyone got off alive, when you see all that going on, it is amazing. Jamel Lene, live in Port Ritchie, thank you.